One of the things that makes Darth Vader so iconic in not just Star Wars, but in all of fiction, is his iconic design. His signature black armor is so unique that most people could tell you exactly who he is, even though they have not seen a single Star Wars movie. Of course, we know that the man inside the armor, Anakin Skywalker, needed this suit to survive his extensive injuries after being burned in the fires of Mustafar after his battle with Obi-Wan Kenobi in Revenge of the Sith. We got to see the surgery Anakin went through to acquire the suit, but there are many details about the functions of the suit that we do not hear about in the movies. One of the most interesting mechanical features on the suit came from Vader's iconic helmet. According to legends, the design for Vader's helmet and suit in general was modeled after ancient Sith warbots. This helmet was a mix of durasteel, obsidian, and plasticeel, and had a raised ridge that ran from between his eyes to the back of his head. In addition, it was also rumored that the helmet had been further strengthened via dark side alchemy. The helmet would then lock into the mask with a pressurized seal that was similar to that of a Class C spacesuit. The helmet and mask of course would act as protection for Vader, but the inside of the mask also had needles that stuck into the flesh of Vader's face when worn. These needles connected with his flesh and would feed neurological data on brainwave activity to the central computer on Vader's chest. There were also radar conduction pads that were installed into the helmet that allowed excess heat to bleed through the metal surface. The top of the mask had a circular interface dotted with square slots around a disc of silver. This disc served as an interface between the mask and the helmet. These components were sealed and connected with a flat backpack that cycled air to Vader's lungs. The mask also had an implanted enunciator that was linked to an electronic voice processor which allowed Vader's burned vocal cords to produce the iconic voice that we all know him for having. An interesting fact about the silver nose on Vader's mask was that it was actually a multi-purpose detector that acted as the suit's primary environmental sensor. It can measure things like radiation, temperature, and atmospheric toxicity. The optical lenses on the mask served as visual filters that allowed Vader to see infrared and ultraviolet wavelengths. They also allowed Vader to see a heads-up display that allowed him to see critical information about any new environments he entered. Vader can control these features by flicking his tongue on the control pad by his mouth, hence why he had what looked like a harmonica near his mouth when we saw him die in the events of Return of the Jedi. And that was just a handful of some of the most interesting features about Darth Vader's helmet. The rest of his suit served other interesting functions that I plan to cover in later videos. Did you know this about Vader's helmet? If you had to be Vader, what is a feature you would like to be included in your suit? I would definitely like to be able to listen to music in mine. Sound off in the comments! Also be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell icon to be notified of all of our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching, remember you are awesome and loved, God bless, and I will see you in the next one.